Hello everyone, Punkil here from Outranking and in the second video, we are going to demonstrate how to generate factual first drafts using Outrank. If you haven't already watched my outline video, make sure you watch that before you come to the step because that will greatly help you understand how the next steps will work better and what can you actually anticipate when the draft is being built. Okay, so we are at a step where we have built outlines for the blog post that we are about to create, which is best iPhone screen protectors. If we click on the optimization icon, we can see how many sections do we have. So we have 26, including the H2s. That's great. So we have 22 sec 26 sections, right? So we don't want to be writing 10,000 words on it, right? So I'm, I'm expecting anywhere between 2,600 to 3,500 or 4,000 approximate words for this particular article that we can narrow it down, uh, adjust it later on and see where it goes, right? So we'll see what happens next. Let's click on writing tools. Once you click on the writing tool, this utility on the left panel will open up, which is called AI writing tools. The first one is first draft. The second is prompts. The third is plagiarism. Fourth is methods. We're going to be looking at first draft for this particular video and understanding how outranking will generate your first draft. Okay. Let's go down and you will see that the generation of first draft is divided into two steps. The first one is selecting a style guide and generating prompts. And the second one is generating first draft. So let's generate prompts over here. Now generation of the prompts for each section can take a few minutes, depending on the section, the amount of sections you have, right? And what Outranking is currently doing is it's understanding the context of your outline and building out the, and the prompts on how a writer should be approaching that to a particular section and creating those detail, detail instructions. Now, these instructions are created based on a default style guide that Outranking has already put in. If you want to change your style guides, and you want to, let's say, customize it based on different, different use cases. You can create a different style guide. I cover a separate video on how to create style guides. So watch that right after this, and you will have a great understanding of how you can customize this to your different use case, whether you're writing in UK English, or you're writing with some specific terms and terminology in your content, you can use the style guide. Okay, enough of style guides. Now let's see the output that Outranking currently gave and you will see that why do you need an iPhone screen protector? So write an engaging introduction on why iPhone users need a screen protector in 2023. Use a persuasive tone to convince the audience of necessity of an iPhone screen protector, highlighting its benefits and consequences of not using one. That's great. The void should be in second person and the content should be uh, argumentative. Ensure that the entire answer is less than 120 words and in short passages. This is very great, right? But I'm showing my personal experience. And because I'm showing my, my personal experience, right? I want to mention this maybe in the first person's voice, right? So I could change that uh, first person's voice. And I promise, this is the only change I am making. And I'm trying to under make you understand that how you can refine this and create this uh, drafts which are very close to what you'd anticipate or what you actually can work with with the minimal amount of changes just focus on adding value okay now uh, this is done now we see factors to consider when choosing an iphone protector so second person's voice right like so it's again building out this entire thing that you can use in uh, that outranking will use when it's generating the draft. So these are the detailed set of instructions that you can adjust if you'd like, but most of these come very cohesively and comprehensively built so that it keeps the first draft from generating very, very, very useful and cohesive information. Okay, now you can go through this if you'd like, or you can just straight go to generate first draft and then start editing it, right? It's totally up to your style. What I tend to do is I tend to generate the first draft and then make those minor edits myself, or I would have a writer or an editor go in and make those changes for me, right? So 
it's totally up to you on how you want to approach to this content and what your process looks like. If you're after a great speed, just go ahead and generate first draft and it should do a phenomenal job in building this out. Right? So that's exactly what we are going to do. We're not going to change any of this prompts besides that first prompt that I changed. So one more thing to notice on this particular screen is the background data. And you can see that we automatically pulled out background data or semantic information that's relevant to writing this section from three sourced URLs. If you click on it, you'd find all the information that we gathered, which we will use as part of the background data when we are writing this section. This ensures that you cover everything that some of your competitors are covering and plus add some new ideas to it because of different writing style. Obviously, you'd go and add later or you'd edit the content later and maybe add more value to it or, or, or that. That's on top of that. So in order for your content to be really great, you want as much background research as possible, right? Uh, if a human were to go and read through 10, 15 different pages, it would take them tons of time. Outranking is doing this job and Outranking is pulling out sections from some source pages, which it can use as background data for understanding the context of this topic and writing that detailed information. If you have your own source data, you can copy and paste it in here and use that as, a back, as part of your background data. Sometimes a client or even you have rough notes, right, that you wanna base your content out of. You can add those notes over here or you can add an Amazon review for per se, right? Like or 10 reviews or 15 reviews from different, different places to kind of build out your own. You can do many things by adding this in, but research is mandatory for writing any good content. So sure, you can use ChatGPT or you can use some of these other tools out there that can read one URL at a time, but reading through and understanding the information and only getting semantically relevant information that can help you write the answer is how a writer would approach to a given topic anyways. And that's exactly what you'd wanna follow and that's why you should use Outranking because we are gathering this data. And in outline step, you can go through the background research and even add more background research or source URLs that you'd like to use as part of this research before getting to the step, right? So now this is it, right? Uh, every section has this information built out and this also adds to your AI query consumption, right? So you need to understand that this is a lot of information. So in order to write quality information, we need to feed it quality background data. And this is essential. If you just want the AI to be creative and not worry about the factual aspect of it or the detailed aspect of it, feel free to just go ahead and uh, delete this, right? And then write uh, the first draft. In that case, we'll not use any background data. You can save on some character consumptions, but this is not really recommended if you want quality draft. Okay, one more thing before we generate the first draft is what I wanted to show is this write section utility. If you wanted to, write each section individually and not use generate first draft or maybe just use to write the couple of sections you're i mean uh, using ai and the remaining you let uh, you write yourself or, or whatever that use case is right you can click on write section and we will write that particular section uh, only but for this particular video i am going to use generate first draft utility and write the entire first draft ourselves Let's go ahead and create the first draft. Now, generating the first draft can literally take 15, 20 minutes, depending on how many outlines you have, right? We already have the background data. We already have the prompts. Uh, we already have the style guide. We have everything that we need in order to build out this really comprehensive information piece that we, we are looking, to, looking at building. Okay, so you can see that it started writing some information and see how detailed it gets and the way it structures your content as well. So it's defining the two types of coatings that you should be looking at when it comes to iPhone screen protector. And we have source information uh, where we got this information from. So it's all factual, right? And then you can see how it structured this with an unordered list, again, with an unordered list, right? Like, and you can see the, the cohesiveness in how it builds out this content is so great that you can build repeatable processes by using your own style guides or even outranking, right? So let's 
you, you can see the content information is just amazing screen coverage right it can safeguard your front camera lens now that's the detail that you'd actually want the readers to understand because i have had my phone camera broken while my you know my phone was still protected by a screen guard so you can understand that some of these things can happen and ai is really clever if it's fed with the right kind of information as background data before building this out and this is going through it through it and now we get to uh, the first product that we are going to be talking about in advanced feature setting the part making it stand out choice in 2023 you can slightly adjust the sentence yourself right and you can see that the five features that it's listing it out then it's listing out five cons uh, and five pros uh, it's listing out its price and so are you ready to safeguard your phone right like and you can add maybe a cta over here or things like that uh, step two again it's building out its features its pros and cons based on the information that we found same thing goes here so it is being extremely comprehensive and cohesive when it's writing this yeah sure with minor changes you can make this content go from what's really great to amazing in no time right so this is great let the current section finish and while the section is finishing if you wanted to check like how many words it has written so far you can look here that it's at around 2261 words and we have already written about 19 of our outlines. So let's go ahead and see how many sections we're remaining. We have about eight sections remaining. So I am anticipating uh, it will write about a thousand more words and we should call it a day. Okay, so the draft generated. And as you can see that we have currently 3,200 approximate words for this particular topic. Uh, this is great stuff. Let's quickly refresh and see how we, do, how we are doing on the score. And you can see we need to target 81 plus for outranking to go and we are already at 71 right like so you can sense the how how well this is building out the drafts keeping all the seo related stuff in mind as well as doing great copywriting at the same time in the next video we will go through how you can change your style guides and the one after that we go over how you can optimize your draft so you can meet that 81 requirement and go way above beyond that uh, and ensure that your content is way better than your competition. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.